Hey, what is up guys? I'm KVHD here and I'm in Las Vegas for CES 2015. And if you've been following the show at all or if you've been paying attention to the news, you've probably heard of a little something called quantum dot technology in TVs. If you haven't heard of it, that's okay too. We're gonna break it down. So despite the name, quantum dot isn't really all that insane. It's essentially just an improved backlighting technology. So with the LED and LCD TVs we have now, the backlight is this pure white light that gets shined through. But white light isn't just red, green, and blue. White light is red, green, blue, some yellows, some purples, some other colors, and that needs to be filtered before it goes through as those RGB pixels. And that filtering will take away a little bit of light, a little bit of vividness. What quantum dot backlighting promises is to not need that filtering. So it'll shine pure red, green, and blue light through, and it'll appear to be pure white, but it won't require any of that filtering that an LED or LCD backlight does and that'll make it a little bit of a brighter image and a much more efficient picture. So of course I had to take a look at these at the show floor at CES, and I found Samsung's new SUHD TVs. These are all quantum dot TVs, and they made these big, bold claims about showing a wider color gamut and being much brighter and much more efficient, and technically these claims are correct, though you might not be able to see this difference with normal content or games, unless you have it side by side with a normal LCD backlit TV. But these Quantum Dot TVs look good nevertheless, don't get me wrong. Not insanely great or anything, but definitely very bright and very vivid. But it's still no OLED display. You can definitely tell when something is an OLED display. OLED panels, like we've seen in a lot of TVs here and also a lot of phones, don't require any backlighting at all. So all the individual pixels are creating their own light. It's not as bright as a backlight, but it's also a little bit more efficient because when you want to create black, you just don't like the pixel at all. And that creates these super dark inky blacks and awesome contrast ratios. It's beautiful and it's the future of television. So we have OLED displays already in a lot of our smartphones. Will we ever see quantum dot displays in our smartphones too? I would say yes, maybe not this year or anything, but it makes perfect sense considering one, it's more efficient than LCDs and that would be great for battery life. And two, it's much brighter because of the lack of filtration, which means outdoor visibility will be much better and that's where we use our phones anyway. It's just a matter of getting the technology small enough to fit in a smartphone and fit in our pocket. So that's essentially it. Quantum Dot is what's gonna start showing up on TV stickers in a Best Buy near you. It's not something super insane, like the name might imply it's some physics trick, but is it legit? Absolutely. It legitimately allows for brighter and more efficient display panels thanks to improved backlighting. Is it new? Actually, no. The idea has been around since the 1990s, but for the past two years, there have been quantum dot backlit displays available on the market. They're just now getting that fancy branding and SUHD sticker from Samsung. So here at CES 2015, this is where it gets branded. It now has a sexy buzz term alongside 4K, curved, 3D, flexible, quantum dot. Now you know. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.